In this video, I'll be using group policy to deploy Google Chrome extensions. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. There is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Google Chrome settings via group policy. And now I will begin this video by going to VMware Workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy. So I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Chrome Settings. And then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects, select the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be creating my policy for my computers, I need to go to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, Google, and then Google Chrome. And here we need to go to extensions and somewhere here, we should see the setting right here, configure the list of forced installed apps and extensions. I will click on it. I will enable this setting and then I will click on show. And here we need to provide a list of extensions that we want to install. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page. Because here I have this link right here that goes to Chrome Web Store. I will click on it. And here we can find all the extensions that we want. Let's search for uBlock, for example. I will click on it. And in this page right here, we only care about the URL. Well, the ending of the URL. Right here we have the extension ID. And we need it for our policy. So I will select it. Copy it. Go back to my server and insert the value here. Now let's enter a second extension. Let's search for it once again. Maybe we can find something interesting here. Maybe TripAdvisor looks cool. Once again, let's copy the extension ID from the URL. Go back, insert it here, and let's do one more. For example, I don't see anything good in here. I guess let's do Gmail, Gmail notifier. So I'll copy the ID, go back to the policy and insert the value here. So we have a list of three extensions and that's enough for this video. So I'll click OK, apply and OK. And that's basically it for the settings. Let's close this window, go to details and for GPO status, I'll select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating the policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the extension. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called computers and it holds all the computers in my domain. So I'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy setting appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Google Chrome. And let's try going to extensions, manage extensions. And as you can see, currently I only have the default one, the Google Docs offline one. And that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. And for that, I will update it manually. I will go to start menu, search for CMD, open the command prompt. And here I will type GP update. Let's press enter and let's wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. If I go back to my extensions, we can see that we have the notifier for Gmail, uBlock Origin, and also TripAdvisor. If I click this button right here, we have all the three extensions that we installed. And that means that the policy is working fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.